Hey everybody, it's We Lock Alarms, and today we're going to do a quick little test of my Simplex 4010 fire alarm control panel. Went ahead and took some scrap pieces of fire alarm cable I had and hooked a couple of devices up. So first of all, the only initiating device that's hooked up right now is this pull station. This is a 4099-9001, which is addressable. There's the module. Up here we have a 4606-9101 annunciator. Note that there are two cables running to this. One is for 24 volt power to power the unit, and the other is for communications with the panel. Over here I have a simplex remote strobe, which I cannot remember the model number, 4904-9137. Course is hooked up to the visual circuit and then a simplex 4080 chime which is on the audible circuit I don't think I've ever made a video of this chime uh, it's a pretty unique alarm usually you see them mounted on like a strobe plate but in this case I just decided to use a separate strobe so the panel it does have two troubles we're actually going to be using the enunciator to control everything today let's go ahead and go through those the first one is a very easy fix, system time and date, it's just because I simply haven't set it. The second one, also pretty easy, it just simply doesn't have batteries. Other than that, the panel is normal. So, let's go ahead and pull the pull station. The panel will be coding the chime to code 3, so let's go ahead and do it. Now if you take notice, a lot of times what the enunciator says, the panel will say also, but it's worded a little differently. Like here it said alarm silence complete, and it was actually still requesting it at the enunciator. So this pull station is programmed as the laundry room pull station, as you can see. Anytime you remove the key, the enunciator does a little lamp test. Which, by the way, unless this key is in the enunciator, you really can't do much. Uh, you can scroll through alarms, if there's more than one, and supervisories and troubles. This is really a pain in the butt with this moving. Uh, but you can't technically acknowledge them, you're just scrolling through them. And you can't silence or reset without this key. It's just a regular beat key uh, in the enunciator in turn. So... Let's go ahead and reset the system. Strobe still going. System reset requested. System reset in progress. So there's a little bit of a difference. Also notice that it eventually just goes away up here. Down here it stays until the panel completely resets. And as you'll see, this actually does take quite a while uh, the panel, even though there's only one device programmed into it, is basically checking to see if anything else is in alarm. As you can see, it says no alarms present, system reset complete. So, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have not watched my updates and announcement video, I please encourage you to do so. One of the things I talked about is where this panel is going to be put in at. It is not going to go into the system that you guys have seen before. So please watch that video if you would. And thank you for watching this video. And stay tuned. I'll probably do a couple more little tests like this with this panel before it actually goes into a system. So that's it for now. Thanks again.